digital watch with smart watch appearance, high contrast display, G-Shock look. Hello custom fans, stay tuned to find out what it's all about. But before starting this video, do not forget to like and subscribe. With a 51mm in diameter and a thickness of 50mm, this watch enters in the league of chunky watches. But strangely, it does not look like one. Anyway, this is needed in order to protect the large display, which is situated underneath the case. Another protection measure. In regards the pushers, we see that they are gliding very well. And are also protected by the middle and side edges which are poorly imitating some screws from a G-Shock. As we are used with Casio, we have all the watch features noted down on the display. 10-year battery span, illuminator, 100 meters water resistance, and so on. And let's not forget about this clean and neat large display. Very easy to be read. The red writing and marking from the side suits very well with the dark grey color of this watch. In the Taikin Peak mode, we have in the middle the local time, written with huge characters. On top there's the day and date, and below the time it shows the seconds. Pressing and hold adjust the watch enters in the time and date setup menu. At first you set up the seconds. With mode you switch to hours, then minutes and then the date. Pressing start pusher will toggle between 12 or 24 hour format. And pressing light it switches for about 3 seconds to powerful orange LEDs. This is how it looks in the dark. Pressing mode for one time, we enter in the alarm menu, where we have the possibility to set up 5 alarms and enable or not the hourly chimes. Next mode is the countdown timer. Then comes the stopwatch and dual time mode. Nothing special for these features, since it is a low cost watch, only 30 euros. Here is the Casio user guide for this 1302 module. Another similarity with the G-Shock is this wide strap with the wide plastic buckle. We see also these shoulders, which are needed for a better fixation on the wrist. The back is somehow strange. We see the large stainless steel back case with small engraving. The information on it, it is in regards model and module name the water resistance and yes, made in China. The water resistance logo is also engraved. Older watches does not have this feature. Google identifies here around 8 color configurations and also the version with the inverted display. We have the last version which is not an AE, it is an BS, interesting model as well. In the countdown timer mode, while adjusting the countdown time, if you long press the light pusher, it will enable auto repeat. A small info will appear in the corner of the screen, but only in this mode. In the timekeeping mode, we see the Casio logo, VR logo and the 5 alarm feature. This writing is not made of pixels. This is 
integrated in the display and it looks like there were digits. Also, we have the alarms counted on the bottom of the display and if one is enabled, a square box will be shown. And let's not forget that Casio likes to have moving squares and circles periodically. We have this feature here. A box will appear on each second for 10 times. Then it will disappear for the next 10 seconds. One quirk that I like is that in each mode, if you long press mode pusher, it will automatically jump over the modes until timekeeping mode is reached. What is also interesting is that you can set up the alarm, let's say in December, because beside the time you can set up the date for that specific alarm. This watch has more than minimum features, a modern design and a visible display for only 30 euros. All this makes the watch a must-have, especially when used under harsh conditions. Do not forget to leave your opinion in the comments section. Wish you the best!